This clip will demonstrate how to change a manual call point operating mode, zoning and device message. To make changes to a MCP credentials, you need to be logged in as an installer. To log into the panel as an installer, press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial button, turn the dial and select a user which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial button to scroll down to the password option. Using the jog dial button, select the correct password for the user. To do this simply turn the jog dial button to select the correct number, and by pressing the jog dial button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial button or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Press the jog dial button to select field setup. Turn the jog dial button and select loop device config, then press the jog dial button. Select the loop number of the device that you want to change its credentials. For this example, I will select a device on loop number 1. Now turn the jog dial button until you find the MCP that you want to configure, then press the jog dial button. Press F3 to select next or press the jog dial button. You can now change the detector zone by simply using the jog dial button. Pressing the button will move the cursor one step over to the right. For this example, I will change my MCP from zone number 1 to zone number 2. Once you have finished changing the zone, press F3 to select next or press the button to move the cursor to the operating mode. Let's look at some of these operating modes. If the OP mode is set to MCP, the panel will see the device as a manual call point. If you are using output group delays, a MCP will override these delays and will trigger the output groups immediately. If you want the delay to be included simply change the OP mode to MCPW, which stands for Manual Call Point Warning. The next few options will not display a fire condition on the panel if the MCP is activated. Also any OP mode that don't display a fire on the panel if the device is active, cannot be added into a zone. UKSB stands for UK School Bell. Using this OP mode will activate any outputs that has been configured to operate with UKSB. The output will only activate for 5 seconds, which is not configurable. RST stands for Remote Reset. This option will reset the panel if the MCP is activated. Day stands for Day Mode Change. This option will switch the panel to Day Mode until the next scheduled Night Mode Change. Night stands for night mode change. This option will switch the panel to night mode until the next scheduled day mode change. LG stands for log. Select this option if you want to record the activation of the input in the event log but not create a condition on the panel indicating a technical alarm. FLT stands for external fault. Select this option if you want to generate a fault condition on the panel if the MCP is activated. TALU stands for Technical Alarm Unlatched. Select this if you want to record the activation of the MCP in the event log and create a condition on the panel indicating an unlatched technical alarm. TAL stands for Technical Alarm Latched. Select this if you want to record the activation of the MCP in the event log and create a condition on the panel indicating a latched technical alarm. DTAL stands for Disable Inputs with Technical Alarms. Select this option if you want a MCP to disable all the technical alarm inputs both latched and unlatched. PREAL stands for pre-alarm. Select this option if you want a MCP to display a pre-alarm when activated. MSP stands for sprinkler. Select this option if you want a MCP to display a sprinkler condition when activated. The mode will also display a fire condition on the panel when activated. KEYSW stands for Operator Level. This option can be used to bypass the operator password when the MCP is operated. Please be aware that only one device per control panel can be configured for this mode. Once you have finished changing the device OP mode, press F3 twice to select Next or press the Jog Dial button twice to move the cursor to the device message. Now you can change the device message by using the Jog Dial button.
Pressing the button will move the cursor one step over to the right. Once you have finished changing your device message, press F4 to select Enter, then press F1 to select Back. Now to complete the process, simply press F2 to select Exit and now press F3 to apply your new configuration.